Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are in Palma. We just arrived here today. We checked in around breakfast time. I'm gonna rewind in a minute and take you back to kind of earlier in the day where I show you the hotel and what we had for breakfast because this hotel is stunning. I would really highly recommend. It's a great location right beside the cathedral. And tonight we're heading out for our first night in Palma to go and have some dinner and some tapas. I want to really quickly show you my outfit though. I'm wearing, now tell me, if Tell me in the comments honestly if this looks like a swimming costume. I mean, I know it does, but it also kind of doubles up as a cami. I'm wearing the Cell McCartney M&S swimming costume tucked into my Arquette denim skirt with just a pair of really plain black shoes. And then I'm taking with me my American vintage cardigan. So yeah, that's the outfit. I hope you guys like it. I might put on another necklace, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to have the cardigan over my shoulder. So even if it does look like a swimming costume, I'm covered. It's not going to be too bad. Um, we're going to try and find some really nice, authentic tapas tonight, which I think is going to be easy because Palma is just full of great places. Today's Sunday, though. That's the only challenge is that I think a lot of places are actually closed on a Sunday. So we will see. Earlier in the day when we checked in, we had our breakfast. Then we went for a wander around. We're a really good location, like close to everything. And then when we came back to the hotel, our hotel actually has a spa and a sauna and a steam room and all those lovely things. So we went down and spent literally like three hours in the spa and it was just so nice and calming. Obviously I didn't wear this swimming costume in the spa because it would be wet. I read my book and Matt read his and then we just kind of went in the steam room, the sauna. Um, they have a nice jacuzzi and like all the facilities are just really, really good. And we love this room. So. I'm going to throw back now to earlier in the day when we checked into the hotel. You're going to see a little room tour and some goodies that they brought us. And that's Matt flushing the toilet. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll catch up with you again later when we're heading out for dinner. Just checked into our room in Palma. I wanted to do a quick tour before we get all of our cases out and start making a mess. Here is the double bed. The doorbell rang there. He was just bringing us a bottle of champagne. That's so sweet or cava or whatever it is. I don't know. Traditional sparkling wine, hazelnut ro notes and rose. Wow, how fancy. Mm -hmm. Some lovely glasses. And then, let me see out here. This is not giving so much. Yeah, the outside <laughs> of the hotel isn't... The outside of the hotel is not amazing, but the location is yeah. really good. We're really close. But I don't think they can do a lot about yeah. the sort of view onto the... And I think the clouds aren't helping. But yeah, I think this bit is a bit of a communal sort of public owned area that they probably can't clean up. But the service has been amazing. A tired. A little bit tired. Here's a little TV. I'm impressed. I feel like we're going to be really happy here. And I like this. We're just munching on these crisps with it. They're called Exquisite. These are from the mini bar. They probably cost like five euros for a packet. They're like those proper European crisps where they're like deep fried and just taste amazing. back out it's the next morning i'm wearing the same top but i've actually got it on with my linen trousers because we're gonna hit the pool later the weather's a lot better today and we are just with mom dad's going to drop the car off and i thought i would just show you this gorgeous cathedral in daylight hello hello Thank you. 
we're just at a place called Bourne, which is a shopping street. And it's got all these beautiful trees and cafes up the middle of it. And there's like Zara, then there's like nicer shops, like Louis Vuitton and all these designer ones. Um, and then an oil show, which is really cute. Loads of things. And then to the left of that is like a lot of restaurants and bars and little tapas restaurants. And the right of it is the cathedral. If you're looking at it from my view right now. back in the hotel room the weather has taken a turn for the worst again it's a little bit well it's not too cloudy but it's not great so we're gonna head down to the spa we i'm still reading my book which i'm really enjoying and yeah i'm not gonna take my phone down to the spa because i kind of want to just chill i'm gonna go in the sauna and the steam room like we did yesterday which is really nice and then come back and get ready for dinner so i might do a little makeup I might show you what I'm doing for my makeup when I come back up and get do a little get ready with me, which I think would be quite nice. I'm covered in mozzie bites, like so literally I'm covered. Scratching. I'm not scratching. Matt's always taking care of me, making sure I'm not scratching my bites. Anyway, we'll see you when we come back from the spa. I'm just out the shower. I thought I would do my makeup on camera with you, but I'm just gonna dry my hair first so you don't have to listen to this loud noise. Okay, we're back. I have curled my hair, styled it. It doesn't take too long these days, which is quite nice. I am going to put on a bit of makeup now. I have this weird red mark on my forehead and I don't know what it's from. It's probably another mozzie bite. I'm literally covered. I'm using the Clarins Skin Illusion, my favourite. I was just watching a bit of Estee's latest video that she uploaded um, while I was styling my hair there. And I just had a little pang for like old YouTube. It was such an era, such a different time. Everyone was so kind and nice. And I just looked on some of her comments on that video and like, she gets a lot of shit. <laughs> I am gonna do a very light makeup look for tonight. My parents are here, I think I've said that already. We are gonna try a restaurant tonight called Rikito. It's got like 12,000 followers on Instagram. And not only that, our hotel that we're staying at actually recommends it as well. So I thought it would be a good one to check out, although, Last night we actually met a couple, I need to tell you about last night actually, we met a couple last night when we were walking home who are from Greece, they were lovely, they were so so nice, I actually didn't get their names but they were really nice and they were just telling us, like we were just comparing places that we've been to and she said that Rikito was good but like not great so <laughs> let's see how that goes tonight, I mean we've made the reservation and we, it's too late to cancel it so we're gonna give it a go anyway. It's Italian food. And it's also in an area that's got like lots of other bars and restaurants where we went last night. So we actually saw it and it looked really sweet, but let's see if it's style over substance. Obviously I'll give you a very honest review of it. Last night was mental. So on the way home, I said goodbye to you guys. And then we literally stumbled across, on the way back to our hotel, we have to go via the cathedral and it's like quite a busy part of town. We stumbled across these demons, like these big groups of, guys and probably girls i'm not sure but they were all dressed up in these ridiculous outfits that were like scary scary as hell they looked like goats they had these big horns i'll put in some pictures i took some footage but it was a little bit dark i don't know if you could see it properly but also it was really terrifying like i was filming them like little kids were crying and stuff it was to do with a festival it's called like the night of fire um and it, you can look it up it's like a religious kind of bank holiday but they I have never seen anything like it. Like we were walking home and we were just like, what is going on here? Some people were in big red clothes. It was like Halloween, but like way more scary. They were like banging these staffs. They had like bells on them. They basically like formed this big crowd in the middle, right beside the cathedral. And they had like Catherine wheels and they were swinging these fireworks all across their heads, like actually crazy. And then people were, it, it like formed a mosh pit underneath the fireworks. It was like completely mental. I've never seen anything like it. And I was just thinking like the health and safety implications of that was just wild. I'll put in whatever footage I can find of it, but amazing, like so cool to see. And I'm not dissing it by the way, I'm just saying like, it Yeah. 
I have to eat with my left hand. Looking good. It's moving on. That's good. Seventeen minutes. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. We had a lovely meal last night at Rikito. I hope you can hear me. Today we're having a pool day and we have a reservation later at Camino, which is going to be lovely. But just look at this view, we're just sitting. Finally, the clouds have cleared. Let me show you. This is our little pool view over. We've got this little infinity pool here. And then I'll just show you a little view of the decking area. Look how gorgeous. This is water. <laughs> this is our stuff and we're going to order a little coffee to our beds. We didn't get breakfast today because breakfast is actually 35 euros per person per day. Um, and we'd originally decided not to do it, but when we first saw it in the hotel, we were like, okay, let's just become for the day. And then when my parents came, we were like, we need to show them breakfast because breakfast is really good. But today we're going to take it easy. We've got our nice lunch at four and we're going to chill today. I'm so loving it. I'm also at that point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Tomorrow I think I'm ready to go home. We've done so much eating and drinking. Obviously, that's my favourite thing to do and it's been so good, but yeah, I'm ready to get back to real life. And also, I have a few days at home, I think I mentioned that yesterday. I've got a few days before I go back to work, so I'm not dreading it. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to read our books. I've got my sun cream. We're going to read our books. We're going to have these with our coffee as well, some little cookies that Matt knows, Matt bought. And here's my sunglasses. This is the name of the hotel, by the way. just ready and about to head out to go for our lunch at El Camino. So looking forward to it. I've literally had this in the diary for so long. I stupidly got the times all messed up and we've had to have a really quick turnaround in the room because we were at the pool earlier. And I, yeah, I got the time wrong. It's now quarter, the, the reservation is at quarter to three. So it's more of a lunch. I thought it was at four. So I'm glad I checked. I'm just wearing, let me just show you. I'm just wearing this. I've got my Oisho blue linen shirt that I'm obsessed with. The sunglasses that you guys are probably really bored seeing because you see them every single day. Brown bag from Zara with my little hair clip attached. My linen trousers from weekday. And then I've got this Carhartt bag because I need to return a pair of black linen trousers that my mum picked up for me because I need them in a bigger size. So yeah, this is the look and we're ready for lunch. We just finished up at El Camino and it was incredible. We had the best food, wasn't it? Yeah. We are packed. We're so full. Now we're going to head back to the hotel and chill out, I think. It's a bit cloudy now. We're going to head back to the hotel. We're going to chill. We might go back to the pool. We might pop into Carhartt. 
And yeah, I would highly, highly recommend that place. It was amazing. I'll give you all the details at some point. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the Mallorca vlogs and tomorrow we go back to the UK. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.